in this demo let's look at how to use the continuous backups with PITR so this is our gameplay table and let's go to the backups tab and here you can enable the point in time recovery feature or the PITR feature that allows you to restore your table data to any second in the past 35 days so simply click on enable and from the dialog box again click on enable now this shows us that the status is enabled so once you have enabled the PITR DynamoDB is going to show you the time the earliest restore date and the latest restore date so uh, right now they are the same and as the time progresses this is going to change so if you see it after some time the earliest restore date will not change but the latest restore date will change in some time so basically what it means is you can restore to any second between these two timestamps the earliest restore date and the latest restore date so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to go to the items tab and i'm going to delete user 2 okay all right the user 2 is gone and if i now restore this data using the continuous backups i'm going to get this data back so let's see how it works so again go to the backups tab and you can or restore to point in time using this option so click on restore to point in time and give a new table name so game play pitr restored right and here you can choose the exact timestamp at which you want to restore your data of course you can only restore to 753 so 1953 is the time you can restore it to because we have just enabled the pitr feature otherwise you could have up to 35 days of time period uh, to restore your data all right the rest of the settings are same as you have in the regular restore feature so i'm not going to go into that uh, so just uh, we can simply click on the restore table option to see how the restore happens okay and now you can see that a new table is being created again this is going to take some time so i'm going to pause the video here and come back once this table is restored and you will see that this new table also has two items and we should be able to get back the item that we deleted all right so our table has been restored to a point in time and uh, let's look at the items and there we go we have the second user that we deleted so if you look at the original table you have only one item but the restore table has two items with the one that was deleted all right and before we close let's go back to the original table and go to the backups tab and here you can now see that the latest restore date has changed so you have a period of time between the two timestamps and you can restore to any point between these two timestamps and if you refresh the page you're going to see that this timestamp changes so you have 8.02.51 p.m. and now if you refresh again you're going to see that timestamp change so now it is 8.03.03 p.m. so simply you can restore to any second between these two timestamps all right so that's about it let's continue